A team of physicists, including a researcher from the University of Cincinnati, has proposed a theoretical method for producing axions, theoretical subatomic particles potentially linked to dark matter, inside fusion reactors. This development addresses a challenge famously depicted, but left unsolved, on the CBS sitcom The Big Bang Theory. In season 5 of the show, characters Sheldon Cooper and Leonard Hofstadter grappled with the idea across three episodes. A whiteboard in one episode displayed equations related to axion production in the sun, and a later episode showed a sad face drawn under calculations visually indicating their failure. The show never explicitly mentioned axions, making these details an inside joke for scientifically literate viewers. Now, Professor Jur Zupan of the University of Cincinnati, along with co-authors from Fermi National Laboratory, MIT, and the Technion Israel Institute of Technology, has published a study in the Journal of High Energy Physics outlining a possible solution. The research explores how fusion reactors could be a source for generating these elusive particles. Axions are of profound importance because they are a leading candidate for explaining dark matter. Dark matter is believed to constitute most of the matter in the universe, vastly outweighing the ordinary matter that makes up stars, planets, and people. It does not absorb or reflect light, making it invisible, but its existence is inferred from its gravitational effects on galaxies and stars. The study specifically examines a fusion reactor design that uses deuterium and tritium fuel within a lithium-lined vessel, a concept being developed in an international project in southern France. Such reactors would generate immense energy and vast numbers of neutrons. The researchers proposed two primary mechanisms by which these neutrons could create dark sector particles like axions. First, neutrons interacting with material in the reactor walls can trigger nuclear reactions that produce new particles. Second, as neutrons collide with other particles and slow down, they release energy through a process called bremsstrahlung, or breaking radiation. Through these processes the reactor could theoretically produce axions or axion-like particles. Zupan addressed the comparison made on the Big Bang Theory, which suggested that detecting axions from a fusion reactor was less promising than detecting those from the sun. He acknowledged that the Sun, as a massive natural fusion reactor, produces a vast amount of power and a stream of potential particles. However, he argued that human-made fusion reactors could utilize a different set of physical processes to generate axions, making them a viable and complementary avenue for production and detection. The integration of this complex physics into the Big Bang Theory is characteristic of the show, which was known for weaving scientific concepts, guest appearances by Nobel laureates, and science fiction references into its storylines. This layered approach to humor made it particularly engaging for scientists and enthusiasts alike. In conclusion, this theoretical work bridges a gap between popular culture and cutting-edge physics. It not only offers a novel pathway to probe the nature of dark matter, one of cosmology's greatest mysteries, but also provides a real-world answer to a fictional scientific dilemma, demonstrating how collaborative research can build upon ideas, even those humorously presented on television.